So you've made your game in GDevelop, and now you want to export that and share it with the world. With GDevelop you're able to export to Steam, the Epic Game Store, Google Play, the App Store, Pokey, Game Jolt, Facebook, and so many more places. So if you go to the share option here on top, you'll see the different platforms that you can share your game on. You've got GD.Games, which is GDevelop's game hosting platform, where free games from developers are shared and played, browser, desktop, Android, and iOS. So let's start with gd.games. You just click into it and press generate link. And then with that one click, we're taken to this page that gives us a URL link that we can share with friends and family and playtesters so they can play your game in a browser. You can click to copy the URL or just open the game. And you'll be taken to a page on gd.games. After you've done that, you'll then get two options. One to update your current page, and one to generate a new link. If you generate a new link, you'll be given another link that you can share with friends and playtesters with the new version of the game. But now that's your second time, you can verify and publish your game to gd.games. And when you click on that, you'll be shown your game's information that you can fill out and then publish to gd.games, meaning it's no longer a hidden URL, but an officially published game on gd.games. And make sure to click this checkbox if you want people to be able to find your game and not just have it in your profile. If you don't want to do that, you can keep generating new links to share private builds of your game with your playtesters. Now let's look at the desktop builds. From here, you can use the one-click export option or create a manual build for your game. With the one-click export option, you can pick the kind of export you want to do for Mac OX or Linux or Windows, and then just click to create installation file. You'll see here that you only have a number of builds per day. With a free account, you can use the automated export system once per day, but then if you want to, you can get a subscription that will let you export more times per day based on the tier that you subscribe to. Or if you don't want to get a subscription, you can pay for extra builds with GDevelop credits, some of which you'll get for free just for completing achievements or giving feedback to other developers in the community, but you can also make a one-time payment to buy a bunch of credits at once. And the reason the number of exports are limited for these automated builds is that it costs you to develop money to host the servers that these games are built on. Now after your game has been sent to the GDevelop servers and is turned into an executable file by them, you click to download that file and the game will go to your downloads folder. Then there's Android builds. So again with Android, there's the manual build option and the one-click packaging option. For the one-click packaging option, there's the APK, which is for testing on devices being shared outside of Google Play. So this is just for a regular build for your phone. If you want to upload your game to Google Play, it needs to be inside of an Android app bundle, which is this option here. And because Google Play requires every new version of your game to be a higher version number, this option will automatically increase the version number of your game, which you would otherwise find in your game properties. Just like with the desktop exports, you click to create package for Android, it sends your game to the GDevelop servers, where it gets built, and then is ready for download. And then for iOS, there's again the manual build and one-click packaging, and iOS is particularly expensive to export to, so in order to use this option, you need to have the Gold or Pro subscription account. Because this kind of export is so expensive. The iOS export is a little different from everything else, so that information can be found on the GDevelop wiki. And then the last kind of export we'll talk about is browser. GD.Games is in here because it's technically a browser build, and all of these have no restrictions. There's no limit on the number of times you can export to these things. So if you want to export to Facebook games, you just need to choose where you're going to save the game and package the game files. And then for HTML5, it says here for external websites, like Crazy Games, Pokey, Game Jolt, Itch, Newgrounds, all of those sites where you would play your game in the browser, what you need to do is click to choose a folder, click to create a new folder, Name that folder what you want the game to be, click on the folder, 
and press select folder. Now that we have the blank folder picked, we just click to export game as a HTML5 game. And that's it. Now, we'll go to our desktop, and the HTML5 game is in this folder. But to actually upload it to these sites, it needs to be a zip file. So you'd right click the folder, go to send to, compress zip file. And now this is the file you would submit to Newgrounds or Game Jolt or Itch. This is the actual game file. But before you actually export your game, there's a few things you're going to want to go over. Firstly, in your project manager, you'll want to go to properties, and you may have set up some of these already, but for mobile games, you'll definitely want to do this. You want to set your device orientation, so when the game is being played, it doesn't try to rotate along with the phone. Your package name for uploading to Google Play or iOS, and the way the screen stretches to fit inside the screen since most mobile phones won't have the same size screen. Then you'll want to go to icons and thumbnails. You can put in your thumbnail for gd.games, and then an icon that gets used on all of the different platforms. Rather than putting these all in manually, because there's a lot, you can just click generate icons from a file, and then click to choose a file. And that will automatically generate all of the icons for you. If you'd like to learn more about GDevelop and how it works, be sure to click on this.